Hi guys, I just spent a ridiculous amount of time repairing this calculator. All that was wrong with it was the battery contacts were corroded. But it took me much longer than it should have done to actually fix that. So, why did I fix it? Um, so I can turn it into a rubber band powered car. I've used these before, they're the wheels off of some existing toy cars, uh, metal tubes that come from some sort of garden um, trellis thing, uh, bits of plastic tube, that's a ballpoint pen or a felt tip pen cut up, cut into four pieces, and we're going to put it on, glue it on the back, but we need enough space to wind a rubber band round them, so I've got a clothes peg here that I'm going to use underneath the back there just to raise the axle off the flat plate so we've got enough room to wrap rubber band round it. And that's it. So I'll just hot glue that all in place and that will be our rubber band powered car for the day or night as it happens to be uh, 10 o'clock at night so I'll hot glue that in place you don't really need to see me doing that and then we'll have a go see if it works There we are, axle tubes raised up on bits of um, clothes pegs, hot glued in place, axle tubes at that end don't need to be raised up, they're high enough anyway, bit of bent wire at the front there for the rubber band. through there, get hold of that, push it through itself, there we are, so you can see rubber band goes around so it wraps over the top of itself, that holds it in place, wind it up, and let it go. So, we'll have a quick run up and down the kitchen. Off we go. Perfect. Yeah, that works. So, summary time. What have we got? We've got a rubber band powered calculator. 
Yeah, okay. Um, that is all it is. I'm just using the calculator the same way as we'd use a piece of cardboard as the chassis. I've used wheels from toy cars, which I don't normally do, but I have used these before. Uh, and metal tubes as the axles because they happen to be the right diameter to go in the wheels. That's what we're using them for. And then underneath we've got four bits of plastic tubing cut from a felt tip pen because that happens to be the right diameter for these metal tubes to go through. And then to lift it, lift the axle away from the bodywork, I've used a couple of bits of um, clothes pegs, plastic plastic clothes pegs just to give it that bit of height so that when the rubber band wraps up around it and builds up a bit of a bulge in the rubber it doesn't rub against the bodywork. Oh and at the other end a bit of bent wire to attach the rubber band to. All of that's just ordinary hot glue in place so I can either just break it off if I'm lucky, or if I run a little bit of um, alcohol under it, that will release it straight away and we're back to an ordinary um, calculator. I'll just demonstrate that. I've got some surgical spirit here. So I'll just dab it round the edge the hot glue and it works its way between the hot glue and the surface it's hot glue too and it will release it So, might have to work on it a little bit. You don't need to go wild with it, it's just a little bit. And that's it, released.